We're going well, live that means early. We're live, live already. I seen well, um. What, well, well, and what we can yeah, do is we just really because we are early. We're talk early. about some of the comments here. Yeah, the look mate, at the crowd that's in already. Gregor is in here, and and he's the one that sent us the samples of Wanderback. We'll get into those, and I'll read some of his comments in a bit. Here in a little bit. Wanderback. I am drinking a Bud Light. I told Bart I said I'm going to go live, <laughs> and I'm drinking a Bud Light. Yeah, going to be like what? what? And he let it get warm. And it's even room likes, temperature. Yeah, he likes warm beers, ales, stouts, and whiskeys. Whiskey more is flavor. Room yeah. Well, I, yeah, I don't know. It's warm t that it's that there's more flavor. There in is the, Bud Light. the colder. Well, when they go in and say it's the coldest but, beer ever, I mean that means the least flavorful. The colder it is, the less flavor you're going to get. Let okay. Because I saw this comment from Rostislav. He says, wow. Scott, thanks to you guys, I picked up a bottle of the Lafroig at Triple Wood Cartridge. Genius. Thanks to Bart. Scott. Now, before we get to Wander Back, because we yes. got a few minutes before it's nine o'clock. I see we go. Grab oh, it's over there. Grab that tin of the Lafroig over there. It's empty by the, the closet. The tin. The Lafroig tin. Wait a minute. Schedule that. Not got ten it. year old. Got it. The tin. Sorry, I was looking for a ten year old. Ah. Do, do, do. Booker's coin fell up, oh, fell on the ground. Look at that. Read, read, Karchus. Well, I'm gonna highlight something for you here. <laughs> we didn't. We don't read. We don't read the bottles we don't. usually. Maybe we don't read the bit. tins. Well, that you're gonna underline it. Um, we did uh, not see this or know this before we reviewed. The I definitely Lafroy. have it because I never even saw the this tin. This is the Karchus Triplewood, right? Okay. But read what I what you I know you like when I read on the tin. We recommend that you add twice as much water as whiskey to fully appreciate the characteristics of whiskey at cast strength. What? What? <laughs> I know. Twice. Yeah. So if you pour a finger of this, you should pour two fingers of water? An ounce of whiskey to two ounces oh of water. Oh my god, no. Yeah, people are doing that and it's what? killing it. That's not right. What? <laughs> That's got to be a misprint. I think you damaged something over there when you <laughs> threw that. We holy did not. So when holy. we reviewed the triple, the Karchus triple wood, we I didn't mean, see that a, on the tin. No, I had a little a drop of water. I did see. Wow. I did see the Scotch Four Dummies and um, <laughs> Whiskey in the Six. They both tried it and were like, oh my God, this is brutal. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> but. Twice as much. Yeah, I know. That's insane. You <laughs> drowned it. And that's what's happening. Yeah. yeah it's got to be half as much. Half. It, well, if you, so an ounce Even of that whiskey. that would be too much. An ounce of whiskey to a half ounce of water. Even it's that's gonna too be, much. Yeah, it's going to be, it's know. better than two ounces of water. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> wow. So we are. Uh, we did. Uh, we shot a couple reviews. Mm -hmm. um, we've we got shot a fun one that we won't tell you about right now, but it's going to be fun and fast. We've got. Let's look at. I am drinking the Bud Light again. I like it. Hold on. West Jolly said a couple things, and then it slipped on by we've, having a little SMWS three point three oh five. The sense of perfection. Twenty eight years People old. People looking at nice. the uh, mic for some reason. Why would you look at the? I mic? don't know. I just looked up at it. Um, Gregor did Gregor did send us the wander back samples. Yeah. Uh, so we'll get to those here in a few minutes. Let's see. Uh, we've got Gregor is tuning in. Rostislav, mm -hmm. Ben Demon Hunter, Mark Go Goins. I still like when you say Goins. Goins. We say Goins. I know. We, we met him we in found Austin and we wrong. found out it was Goins. Goins. Mark Goins. Mark right. JG. Mark J. Goins. JG. Loch Ness is junior here. grade is what I know. Louis Sanchez, Sanchez, Jeff Iyer. I haven't seen Jeff Iyer before. Yeah, Thanks for tuning in. in. Surgery. He says, "Is Black Bart going to test it?" Yes. <laughs> when we get to this, I'll yell it for you guys. Christopher David is here. Scott Slattery, Bourbon Buddy. Christopher David, two first names. I like it. Uh, we are getting back to the live streams, uh, inviting people in. The Bourbon yep. Buddies is one that we will need to get an invite out to. Um, they joined Jason Mash and Drum. They've got a YouTube mm. channel now going well. And uh, so in the future, Bourbon Buddies will reach out to you and in the future bring you on. That's right. 
Uh, Donner Pass Whiskey is here. Now, we'll tell you the next. So, next Sunday, we're trying to schedule a live yeah, we, with a guest. I haven't locked it in yet, but I think we'll be good to go. The next two They're Sundays, I'm pond. out of town. The next two Sundays, I'm out of town. So, I told Bart, if you want to do a live, knock yourself out. We'll see. Uh, Bart has technical difficulties when I'm not around. Well, I run StreamYard on my board game channel, which you don't want to hear about. But that's where it defaults to. So to then cross it back over will be interesting because I don't know if I can associate it. Uh, I think I said Donner Pass Whiskey, Christopher David, Wes Jolly, Malt Minion is here, the Andrew Minion. Spurrell, <whistles> Puffs and Drams, Claire the Third, Claire, Bud Wise, Er, <laughs> Old School, um, do, do Whiskey Crusaders, Matt's tuning in, uh, Robert Primo. Jimmy Jazz, Primo. Joe Mezzatesta, I also mean cousin. Joseph Zeidner, Joseph Zeidner. I don't know if I've seen Joseph before. Thanks wow. for tuning in. John Kranz. I want to say this is like school. You're just calling out names. Robert Beagle. <laughs> the Baxter. Ooh, it skipped yeah, it on me jumped. there. That's it what it does once in a yeah, while. Because it's, it's up, up, updating. Saw the Baxter. Um, he says, what? Jimmy Jazz, I think it said Tim Baxter, Joseph Zeidner, Mash and Drum, Jason, what's going on, buddy? Uh, Jeff on. Jeff Pickering is here, who's responsible for the uh, whiskey fabric that went around years ago. Love it. The fact is, he asked, he goes, whatever happened to that? It's right here. <laughs> Here's the whiskey yeah. fabric. We got it, baby. Woo, Jeff Pickering. Look at that. Fabric with whiskey. Sometimes I know where stuff is. Sometimes he knows I don't. It. He's good. I would have darn forgot about it. Uh, like who? What? Jay Holly, the Beatles of booze. Scotty Harris. Daniel Willis tuning in from OKC. You know the beard's getting ready to go for both of us. Uh, Scotty Harrison. We got Cole a, Thomas. We're gonna film a few more shows and then the beard will be gone temporarily. Hopefully. Hopefully. I slack a lot. Nothing oh. to be proud of. Well, that's a good name though. Uh, sounds like my sixteen-year-old. <laughs> uh, Art Sanchez, Daniel Del Rio. I haven't seen Daniel before. Thanks for tuning in. Eric, uh, what is that, Runyon? Hello. Where are you jumping down a ways? I you got to go in order. What I couldn't doing? tell where you were at. I don't know where your eyes. Do you see the cursor? Wandering. Do you see the cursor? I did not. I see it now. You're making it Daniel dance. Daniel Del Rio. You're making the cursor dance. That's where the cursor is, is where I'm yes, looking usually. It's dancing. Uh, oh, there's there. Eric. Right I know. In. It wasn't yep. too far yep. away. You good, were getting good. close. ADHD. Matt is tuning in. <laughs> hey, he was responsible for the uh, Beagle Rare that was going oh, around. Oh, yeah. The Max is down there. Max? Yeah. Uh, okay, Max do, 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 do. eyebrow wiggle. Max got an eyebrow wiggle. That doesn't happen a lot. Well, maybe it does. Robert Primo says, we're going to look stupid without beards. Can't wait. I know. It's, it's, it's in the name of the channel, so. Look at that. Look All at right. That right there. Let's move right. on. Let's, uh, and it's 8.57, so we're close to our 9 o'clock time frame. I've got the, speaking of the bourbon buddies, I've got their coin. I've just got an Aqua Vitae coin. Boom. There's a Let's do. cobra outside. All right. Now, Bart, you did a little research on Wanderback. Just a touch. And we've got, so we've got batch one here from Wanderback. It's a three-year. We actually have batch one, two, well, and we yeah. think three. Yeah, but we're going to do out. batch one first. Right. So tell us a little right. bit, though, about Wander Wanderback. So first of all, are you screen sharing or no? no? Okay. So first of all, Wanderback is more of an independent bottler, and they're dealing, they're purveying an American single malt. Hello, you're speaking to my American soul. So- uh, barley, malted barley, and they have started off with um, Westland. So they've got Westland is what they're working on now. They're going to have batch one, two, three, and they're almost ready to come out with a fourth. Then all they tell you on their website is they have traveled to Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas should mean balcones. Hello, balcones should mean uh, they don't say that's me because we know that's Waco. Then they're saying they're they've also bought some whiskey from 
a Virginia distiller, which we, well, we're thinking of one, but it doesn't say who. So they're buying the whiskey. And then what I am understanding is they're buying that American single malt and they're aging it. They're doing some of their own alchemy with maybe the wood that it's in. Um, have you read or learned anything else? No, I've got batch one pulled up from their okay. website. It was a limited release, 2,200 bottles. Uh, American single malt whiskey. Yes. What they say is they're going to all be unique batches of whiskey, unique barrels of whiskey, which I like. They're not, their whole thing is they're not trying to recreate the same consistency. If anything, they want to be very different with each one. Uh, yep, exactly. 100%. So batch one by the website, 100% malted barley from the Pacific Northwest mm, that's fun. featuring specialty malts uh, distilled in partnership with Westland in Seattle, yes. aged at the Wanderback family farm mm. in Hood River, Oregon. I like the sound of it. Hood River. Uh, three years old, four, 90 mm. proof, 45%. So, uh, we just had Gregor put 40%, but it's 45% on batch Got it. one. That's all right. Um, delivery, it was available in 34 states at the time. Mm, really? That's a pretty good release. That's a pretty good release. Yeah. That pretty is. good distribution for batch one. Nice. So let's get into, yeah. take a look at batch one. Well, we got a great little note from Gregor here. I love that he says a wee four from each batch of Wanderback. Love that. A wee four from each batch. Did you have four little bottles? Just three. Three. What does it say? A wee four. That's what I told you when I read the note to you. It's weird. Just bringing it up for them. Uh, and you were like, oh, it's a Scottish term. Yeah. Well, the we. I love the way the, the Scottish we. talk. Well, I do. All right. Uh, the bourbon buddy said that must be a bourbon junkies coin. It is that I have here. And uh, Richie Z is tuning in. Greetings, Scott and Bart and Whiskey Friends. Greetings. Uh, there's Bird Dog. Hello from Florida. Bird Dog got a Scotch God shout out in one of the uh, reviews we shot. Christopher Damon. And, and well, and Gregor is tuning in. He says it's about time, Scott. And about time we sat down and got. In fact, as I texted Bart earlier today, yep. I said, "Hey, come over." He's, get he's asked me back. to come over before, and we had a bunch of birthday party stuff we've been doing recently. We need mm -hmm. a little cowbell, a little cowbell. <laughs> That's for Christopher David, baby. Ten dollars super chat cowbell. Your handle. Like that made I my did. dog cry outside yeah, the door. Yeah, That's the the. The brother of Chupacabra. Uh, Christopher David, so glad I could finally make a live stream. Are you guys planning a trip this year? And if to where? We are not yet. No, we don't have any we hard keep, plans. We've talked about we a few We keep talking things. about Kentucky Bourbon Trail. Yes, we've mentioned Canada. Real life just. We're both still full time. Takes over. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, so I saw something else somewhere. Another mm. comment. Uh, anyway, move, so batch one, Waterback, this is very That's nice. Interesting. It's a, uh, it's got that Westland malty character for sure. Yeah. I hate to use smooth. We get, we get a you, lot of yeah, static for you. I say smooth, smooth and people don't like it. 45% ABV, nice palate, uh, nice sweetness, citrus sweetness with the malt. The nose is a little more subdued than I thought it would be, but it's got that nice, almost mustiness to it. And almost Where like is, uh, cherry wood. Okay, let's see. Here's the screen share. I just want to share a picture of the bottle at least so you guys can see. Hmm. Uh, I got to mm. undo some. I don't know about that. No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, maybe we hold off. I don't know on there. Uh, so flavor profile wise, while you're doing that, okay, let me it's, see. it's wanting me to do some some yeah, uh, we'll, we'll not authorizations. Share. I don't yeah, want to do. We we'll won't do that right now. Wander back anyway. If if you get a chance, to look up wander back. Like you're wandering. Their website's great. You're wandering around the woods and going and back back to the future. Yeah, like 
You're wandering back. Wander back. Wander back. Wander back distillery. Wander back whiskey. Wander back. So, hold on. Eric Waite says, just say as smooth as Eric Waite's head, Ooh. and you won't get any complaints, but they may unsubscribe. I've kissed Eric Waite's head, matter of fact. Smooth. It's very smooth. 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 Well, there was a little bit of stubble. I don't think he'd shaved maybe that morning, uh, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. <laughs> maybe he didn't was, shave that morning. It was on my lips. Sure you weren't staying up late? No. Well, that was at the fifth anniversary. It was Saturday morning. Ooh. And I remember. Got it. Impressive. <laughs> What do you have on the finish? I got uh, hard caramel candy, a little bit of oakiness, maybe a touch of cola. I got cherry cough drop, a faint hint of that. Um, that not on the finish, though. So, man, the, the, that Westland maltiness, though, is really the riding character here. There is a sweetness, almost feels like a like a like a wine cask finish mm -hmm. it doesn't say it now one of these um i believe that we're going to do batch two or three does have a wine cask finish finish this one doesn't indicate it but it's almost like that's really sweetness powdered sugar oh, yeah um almost sugar. icing you know cake icing okay and not even not vanilla icing but just like mm, powdered like sugar the, it's, yeah it's, or butter cream icing nah, kind of, maybe you know? butter cream maybe but really just yeah, it's, it's nice at 45%. What I don't know, and Gregor, I'm sure you can say what the price point on these were. That's a good point. Um, and this was batch one. Get a little floral, a little floral note. Huh. So batch one, their website is very nice, and that's where they have those hints of, of other places they've traveled to. Hmm. Well, Eric, you got to admit, you can't go wrong with those sourced and casts from the places they've been sourcing and then aging further. Yeah. I like that. Doing the special finishing. Right. Hmm. Uh, Eric Wade is drinking a Ben Milam barrel proof straight bourbon whiskey, though, from Texas. Uh, we were just talking about Heather Green, matter of fact, from Ben Milam. Um, do you have the water on it? Yes, you do. No, you can open that one. Crack it. Where? Here, hold on. Right here. Oh. There's Heart likes yet. to reach between my legs. It's hard to find. Uh, malt thing. Minion, they're going for $65 now. That's not bad. Mm. A bottle of that, $65. If it was much more, I mean, if it was more than that, hey. But at $65, I don't think you'd be disappointed in that. No. What's what's uh, I what's got a little bit of, wow, in the finish now, as I let it settle, I'm getting some milk chocolate. Hmm. That's interesting. Ooh. Speaking of shirts, we got a new one. Uh, nice shirt. Well, someone commented about <laughs> yours. I don't know why. Because but. it's flashy and bright and it demands attention. It says these are these are the dummies you're looking for. Right. Who doesn't want a land speeder with a couple dummies in it? <laughs> Hold on. Are you not getting the chocolate in the finish? Uh, I didn't want to say it. But I actually, before you said, when you go, hold on, right now on the finish, I'm getting a little, I thought, milk chocolate. And then you said milk chocolate. But I can't say that because some people think I'm copying you. So I didn't say it. But then you're like, well, aren't you getting that? Didn't you get it? Are you getting it? I think now you're making yeah. things up. <laughs> you feel bad because my palate got it. I just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, you should have been like, me too. <laughs> it's the me too movement, Scott. And it's all about milk chocolate. <laughs> uh, Matthew Park says uh, wow. Hey Scotch Test Dummies Thanks for the shout out last week Drinking Garrison Brothers tonight Ooh. You know it's amazing how much Texas Ooh. whiskey Take is, it over Is moving into people's Big time um, Living rooms Bars yeah, oh, or Living okay. rooms was... Bathrooms I mean just look at tonight <laughs> We've heard uh, Ben Milam We've heard um, Balconies Mm-hmm We've heard uh, Garrison Brothers. And I'll throw in Iron Root. We haven't heard of Iron Root yet. Why not? You gotta say it. <laughs> no, Texas is doing some uh, some fabulous things. So uh, that argument's always going to be out there with you know Kentucky or Texas. 
but hey, two different mm, two different regions. I love it now. Yeah, and, and two Tennessee's in the, in the ballpark, and mm -hmm. yeah, look what Denver's doing. Can't quite say Colorado yet, but Denver, Virginia's <laughs> got some cool stuff going on. What? What'd you laugh at? Jeff Pickering. Pouring some of this. Which one? Number two. Okay. Like I said, you give him pouring some of this. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Good point. I. Here I was being critical of you, and I but was it was wrong. Bart is always up. Well, not what, what? Uh, I'll bet you no less than a hundred times. Bart has gotten Smooth. on me. He says or he's like, we need a podcast. We need to take our audio and put and it clip over. It, just clip it, it and put podcast. it into a podcast. But then you'll do things like that, and you're like, this one is great. That would Which be one? problematic. Yeah, people would be You've pissed. To, U S O B. You, you can't gotta, just say stuff. It's a audio. It's a radio. I'm pouring show. this one. It's Ray. I'm pouring it. Which one? Oh, you know, it's good. It's good. It's phenomenal. You got to say I'm pouring bad. You lose too. people. Good point. It's a good thing we're still video. Yeah. You know, with I the sample say bottles, it. they can't yes, tell. They can't. I, I thought cannot. you picked up batch three. I'm I did like, not. Which one are you Went pouring? Right to the middle one. I'm loving the milk chocolate on one. Uh, Eric Waite, by the way, has been doing a series of videos on his channel, Two Texas Whiskeys, mm -hmm. and uh, he's going to finish up uh, the Whiskey Trail in June. Wow. So, it's a big trail. And it's getting bigger. It is. But what I was snickering at, there was Jeff Pickering said, how about a t-shirt that says, this dummy has a bad motivator? <laughs> but it's got to be, I pointed out to my wife, Luke had a really whiny voice when he did that. Uncle Owen. Oh, he did. His R2 unit's got a bad motivator. Terrible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what are you trying to sell us? Some kind of junk here or something? I can't. I don't remember what Oh, Uncle Nate drinks whiskey is tuning in. Love oh. your videos, guys. Thanks, Uncle Nate. Thank you, Nate. Drinks whiskey. Nate the uncle. All right. I had an Uncle Larry. Didn't have an Uncle Nate. Man. I had a Uncle Rick Rick. Uncle Rick Rick. Had to call him Rick Rick because we already had Uncle an Uncle Rick. Rick. We had an Uncle Rick. And there were two Ricks. Eric Waite loves the podcast idea because nobody will be able to see your manga shirt. Good point. Yeah, when you go look at that shirt, they'll be like, "This sons of bitches." <laughs> I'm going I can't, to them, I can't going, see his shirt. I'm going to YouTube. So I can't I can see, see his shirt. God <laughs> dang it! This, what are they doing? Just ripping the audio, throwing it in on a podcast. Bastards. <laughs> I noticed with the bourbon shootout, though, you'd do that occasionally. You'd be like, okay, this one, this, this one, one is good. This one, I'd be like, well, you got to verbalize. All, okay, right, all right. I'm going to number this two. This is the first I'm I've heard. Going of. to I, number I feel three. like we're in council. You got to think. Is this therapy? What is going on? You got to tell me that right on the you spot. Rip the you audio. Gotta, you got to call it. me out. You got to call me out immediately. I really right. was enjoying my my uh, batch one from Wanderback mm. Distillery. I just finished. The, the sample that I poured before I go to batch two. We call it out. <laughs> Let me have some water so I can rinse my glass. All right, we're gonna get. You I wasn't water. gonna rinse a glass. I'm gonna was water back. I'm gonna right put here. it right back. There's different batches from water back. Better. But they're different. It's much yeah. different. Good. Good. It's way I like different. to hear that. I'm getting a little more spice in batch two. I am not well, currently getting the milk chocolate finish. Let's but that came late on batch one. Let's look at batch two. Do they have some notes on it? Yep. Batch two was released 2018. Great so, pictures. Um, we, are, we are going to batch two. It's an American single malt. Yes. Delivers a flavor. Pro this is from the website. Okay. Delivers a flavor profile that's one fun adventure for the palate. Okay. A sip satisfying blend of malty sweetness oh, with a see, hint of floral and spice thrown so in. So I got the spice. A sip satisfying. Full that's and well rounded in the mouth with a long and satisfying finish. Mm. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. uh, then it goes into the family farm, Hood River, Oregon. Uh, spices Phil, and what? Phil Downer, the founder of Wanderback, partnered with award-winning master distiller Matt Hoffman yeah. and the team at Westland Distillery. Good so same as batch one, both right. Westland. One, two, uh, this three, one is 88% pale malt, 8% um, crystal 60L, uh, 60L. I don't even know what that is. 2% yeah. right pale chocolate, 2% Munich. 
That's the barley. It must be the different barleys. I can see Washington pale malt, pale yeah. chocolate, oh, and Munich. But what's Christy sixty Crystal sixty L for a some of educators malt? Yep. And this is finished in ex Nicaraguan rum casks. Wow. So I've got water here. I'm still rent. Let me rinse this out. The spice is still what I pick up here. I mean, you say Nicaraguan rum, and I'm thinking I should be getting a ton of sweetness. But it's really not sweet. It's spicy. That's interesting. Bird Dog is sipping Walking Dead bourbon. Ooh. That's Spirits of the Apocalypse. Yes. Surprisingly good with a strong taste of rye spices that mellows into sweet bourbon flavors. We may or may not have just well, had that on a show. We, we reviewed it a while back. Yes. Now, here's... So, when I bought it, it was it first came out. It was online. I think I paid $35 or $39 for it. Shipped. I had low expectations. I'm thinking, yes, here's a whiskey with you, high marketing <laughs> going on. Super high. And I remember it's you said, be, try this. And, I, and it's going to be... I'm thinking it's going to be overpriced. Yeah. It's going to okay. just be... And for forty bucks, it was that's a that's the high end. But it was a good whiskey. It I was, was really surprised by it. it was if yeah. it was twenty twenty five bucks, yeah, I would good. have bought more. A lot of people have been finding that on sale recently for like ten twelve oh, bucks. Oh lordy, good! If crap. you see if you see the Smash Walking Dead all up. Spirits of the Apocalypse Steal. for ten or twelve bucks, Get buy it. it. Buy multiples on our <laughs> recommendation. Yeah. You'll look it's, a little weird on your shelf, but you'll just say, I know it looks heavily marketed, but it's actually pretty it's good. Decent. It's actually pretty good. It's decent. decent. Decent's good. It's not going to be the best. Whiskey. Well, I like a high rye mash anyway. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right. I'm just getting on. To, you're already finished with batch two. Oh, going into three. Well, God dang. I, I said it, though. I said I'm going it's, into it's Wonder back batch three. I can feel my wife getting pissed. <laughs> I came over early. Well, she canceled church for you. No, she wanted me to go. Well, she, you, she was going to she church. She assumed I was going to go. And to then the you said, well, I'm going to Bruno's to film, film whiskey show. So she said, I ain't going to church. I'm not going now. Really? So canceled church. Well, turns out we got a show. You know, that show means I got to hang out with my buddy and drink whiskey. It's work. I'm All right, sorry. so batch two of the Wander Back. Now, this is finished in the – this is Westland single malt, finished yes. in Nicaraguan rum, and right. I get that. I get the Westland malt. Boy, that maltiness is heavy. Right. Have you tasted but it? But there yet? is a sweetness on the nose of this. Really? Have that you tasted was not it? On, I have not. It's going to throw you for a bit of a loop because <laughs> I thought the sweetness would carry through. Not saying it's bad. Uh, Will B just tuned in. Says howdy, dummies. Haven't seen Will B before. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, see fight for sound. Me. White H two O kayaker is here. Kayaker. Kayaker. Ben How Stahl. Do you spell that. Kayaker. Oh. Like a kayak. Like normal kayaker. Uh, good evening, guys. Watched at least a dozen different whiskey review channels, and you guys are the best. Keep up out the of great the dozen and the humor. Love it. Love that. Where it's <laughs> probably my shirts. Yeah. <laughs> What? Jose Roque is tuning in. Hello, guys. <laughs> David Cole. Bart would probably like bullet barrel proof with high rye. A little okay, though. I, I do. Uh, Actually, well, the bullet barrel proof we've never picked up. Mm. When it came out, it was a little high. had mixed reviews. I never picked it up. Uh, it did go on sale for a while in the $35 to, what? I think, $39. Still hadn't picked you it sure up. sure I haven't had the, the barrel proof? Not bullet. I've had the bullet rye. Okay, maybe not the barrel so. proof. I like the bullet I don't rye. think so. Mm. All right, you got to try that one so you can catch up because right, there's a little two. there's a little twist in this one. Wanderback Distillery, batch two, batch finished two, in Westland. Nicaraguan rum. Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan rum. Mm. Nose is sweet. Mm -hmm. Tell me, though, you're not getting spice. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. And it's mm. not as sweet Ooh. as I thought it was going to be, though. Not saying it's bad. I wow. thought it was going to be sweeter. Mm, that is very nice. I like that one. Um, richer and sweeter than batch one. 
Oh, ring it loud. Ring it. You kiss the sniper on the scalp and you get a super chat. Nice little uh, cowbell for Eric Waite. Ring it loud. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Ring it proud. Jose Roque says, I'm subscribed and watch your videos. Nice. Dude. Yeah. Thanks, please Jose, do. for tuning in. Anybody that's on, on the please, live, please click this subscribe if you haven't. Hello. Hit the little bell, too. Hmm. Uh, Claire the Third says the Walking Dead whiskey is on sale for twenty dollars in Virginia. Okay, mm, don't buy Not a bad. case, but get don't two. buy a case. Yeah, get two. Buy one, try it. Get two. Well, Claire's putting it up against all the stags. And, uh, <laughs> wow, this isn't as good as the well, stag junior number third or number twelve. Number twelve, <laughs> bastards. <laughs> This doesn't even compare. Oh, you know what? I haven't even been. We've been reading and watching. I don't like it. I need to highlight. Oh, you're not them. highlighting them. I haven't That's been. Perfect. Yeah. How did Bart get into manga shirts exactly? Well, we were. Um, should can I tell it, or do yeah, you want to tell it to it. keep it short? No, do it. So, funny enough, we went to the Goodwill just to see if they had some like really cheesy T-shirts, and I'm going through and picking some out. By the way, you passed on a Chris Rock pink. Mm. t-shirt that mm -hmm. you realize you should have gotten mm. it was like a, a large so i couldn't fit in it <laughs> and i think i saw these and i was like look at this bright colored i think this was even one of them bright colored screen not even screen printed just beautiful colors i thought this will pop this will pop and you're like you won't wear that i'm like hell i won't i think that's a quote <laughs> <laughs> and then I put it on the shirt. I love them. I think it screams visual whimsy, which is me. So I got it. And then they had two of them, blue one and a red one. And then I, I liked them so much. I went and sought them out on eBay. They're actually kind of hard to come across now. So oh, really? They are. Yeah. I, well, I can find like, well, originally I could only find five types I think now I'm up to 11. Uh, Mark Gowen says, did y'all hear about Jonathan Bray and the Secret Spirits Company? We have not. No, what happened? There's been something developed God there dang. recently. I hope it's good news. We love Jonathan. He's traveled uh, to see us. By the way, on, on Batch well, 3, I'm I got to say, when somebody says again, something like sounds that, bad. it's bad. Sounds bad. But maybe but, he struck it rich. Oh, you're know. already on Batch 3. Yeah, and then the two. chocolate's back. I don't like it. Oh, here's a good one right here. Look at this deal. Now I'm nervous. Warren. Warren Wass. I do not like Jack Daniels. What? Bought a double barrel. Yes. Loved it. Bought three more. Hello. Love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we call it the, sometimes, yeah, the double barrel. Sometimes, Warren, we're no, we hit the nail on the head. Damn near all the time. <laughs> sometimes we don't. But that time, we're pretty sure. We're we right on. All right, we got another, now. the Electron Cloud. Great name, sounds <laughs> chemical engineer. Thanks for the answer, guys. I'm into Bart's whimsy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Boy, I like uh, this match, too, of the Wanderback. Very nice. Um, it's definitely bringing something different. You're getting that Westland single malt, multi, crazy maltiness, and just a nice, really... Um, sweetness that's just melded with it very nice it's dark a darker sweetness you got molasses really and the, Dang, the brown I sugars that. i got spice well you spice. drank it in like 10 seconds no wonder you didn't get it <laughs> i would have got it this one this third one is oh what what? This third one Mark, is... He was arrested for illegally selling alcohol. What? Get out I of here. Look up some details that on sounds that. like something from the government liquor bureau they have or something. <laughs> Will B wants to know, uh, when we started, I was still finishing oh, Bud Light. Jesus. Talk about yeah. getting slain. Uh, Will B wants to know. <laughs> Will B wants to know if we're going to review that. Nope. nope. Well, uh, we will review it. It's yeah. light, flavorful, and warm. <laughs> you don't want to drink it cold. All right. Move to number three, brother. 
Uh, Keith Daniel says uh, he saw a bottle of Ichiro's Ichiro's. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Chichibu in a store several weeks ago. We just passed over it because he hadn't heard anything about it. I inhaled that one. I guess you missed out. This was yeah. That's, this is well. This is the uh, the U.S. malt. If it's the same one, I had briefly seen it on social media. Looked it up. And um, it was at retail in our area. I did a quick review of this. Mm. If you haven't checked it out, yeah. but uh, two hundred and fifty dollars retail, which is pretty mm. steep, pretty pricey. But it is tasty. It's uh, different. When you look online, though, it's going for a thousand dollars plus. That's crazy. So I thought, well, let me pick that up and see what's going on with that. It's it is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Not a thousand dollars good. It's two fifty good. <laughs> it's two fifty good. It's not three hundred good. No, uh, I think if you paid, uh, if you sat minutes. down, if you sat down and spent some time with that, if, if you paid five hundred for it, you oh, wouldn't be disappointed. God. Yeah, you would, unless you got five hundred thousand. No, it depends on how deep your pockets are. My pockets are shallow, like a muddy pond. <laughs> uh, whiskey okay, and maybe six. not a muddy pond. Rob is tuning in. Blue Devil O one. Wow, what does that mean? Blue Devil 01. Uh, he's, he linked in a story about secret spirits situation. Wow. Article That's about sad. Was, Yeah, I'll we'll watch it later. What is it? SCBO? Is that what uh -huh. they call it? No, LCBO. LCBO. That's close. Yeah. You had three or four. Yeah, 75%. Some letters is a mix of letters. 75% correct. Uh, I will story take of, it. Star, story of your life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you on to the third yet? Are you still, no, I'm still on two? two. God damn. Dude, it's Drink 925. It. Drink it. It's a discussion show. <laughs> God knows when I'm outpacing you, there's a problem. What are you doing? <laughs> this one's a lot of chocolate, and I want to talk about it. All right. All I don't right. know where you got all this other stuff out of there. I got spice on the middle one. The middle one didn't we, give me as much. You drank it in five seconds. No I don't wonder. think that was the you case. You didn't get anything. Park that bad boy. And move parking. on to number three. Park it. <laughs> number three. Apparently, it's time to move on. Put it in the garage. Quick hitters are fast. I mean, uh, <laughs> shootouts ah, are they fast. They should be. Shootouts they are should fast. be. Right now, someone's like, he's the guy with the shirt's getting a nerd. So, <laughs> that's number three of Wanderback. Okay, so let's go back to the website here. And I'm looking it up. Chocolate. 2019 release, batch three, Woo. Uh, 1,540 damn, bottles like released um, in September, 45% ABV, five years old. Smooth. Uh, they used an independent stave company. What? Barrel. Wow. New American oak, finished in port wine casks, what? French oak. Um, they got to say chocolate. Two. Here's the notes. No, I'm not going to read the notes. Let me taste it. All right, you first. taste it. Hold on. Wander me... back five years. Now, I think Gregor messed up because he labeled this batch two, but I think it's batch what? three because yes, he's got wander right. back five years. Right. So, hmm. Ooh. nose is definitely straighter. I mean, it's more single maltish. Oh, yeah. Hello. What? I'm what? reading ahead. You just taste it. Okay. Don't read. Don't read. Um, more. This is more Scotch style single malt. That Westland single malt isn't definitely isn't jumping out at you on the nose. That's so weird. Um, but there is there's malt, but not more of the lemongrass type malt. Yes. On the nose. Yep. Wait till you hit the flavor. All right. Here's the cool thing about these: the nose, at least for me, and the flavor do not align. The flavors are wildly different than what I get on mm. the noses. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. This one has a beautiful mouthfeel, yep. very coating. I oh think we've seen God. a progression from batch one to batch three. Batch three being my favorite just off of that first sip. More, like I said, scotch style, single malt, lemongrass, light malty notes, light caramels. Even some some nutmeg. Yeah, there's some nuttiness Slight in spice. there. spice. Yeah, nuttiness. But do you get what do you get on the finish? Mm. Let me hang in there. I get second. it even in the forefront, but it's really nice on the finish. 
And I'll, I'll wait for you, see if you get it. Mm, mm, yeah. Mm, okay. They say baking spice, savory caramel. That's not as much of what yeah. I'm getting. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. Wow. Um, Nothing really, to me on the finish, nothing really different. Okay. I'm getting that uh, vanilla custard, yellow or, um, or citrusy malt, mm. uh, lemongrass type notes. A little bit heavier on, on the maltiness, almost that Westland type profile coming out. What about fudge cocoa? Like that powdered cocoa that you use for baking. Mm. Thick, rich. Mm -hmm. I would even Maybe call it slightly. cocoa. Maybe <laughs> slightly. Oh, slightly? You're out of your mind. It's all over it, baby. Mm. It's all over it. They do list cocoa in their notes, but my goodness. Now, Gregor, is, is, he's still here with us. He says batch one and three were his favorites, mm. and he's a sherry head like me. Actually, I think uh, I think two and three have been my favorites. Three, though, on first sip being the favorite, I think two coming in behind that, that rum cask finish on two, was to me, was very nice. Two left, left me. Mm. It's good. They're all good. I love what they're doing, though. These cocoa notes, especially on number three. Uh, Eric Waite says, let me go back up. I need to highlight this. Mm. Um, wow. He enjoyed our review of the Lafroy Karchus Triple Wood Cast Strength. Immediately bought a bottle. $100 with tax and shipping. Wow. I enjoyed That's, it, too. I, th I think you're well within the means there or within uh, reason on that. And there's, I mean, a couple reviewers kind of had mixed reviews on that. What? Well, it's okay. Uh, yeah, I can't. Uh, to me, that was outstanding. Oh, my God. And it was, uh, I tasted it blind. It was phenomenal. Yeah. <clears throat> I was sad I'd missed the boat, kind of. You have a... Uh, well, and the thing is that friend. we get, we have three bought my nephew. Okay. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if you had the nephew. The nephew yeah. lives in another state. And he said, I found some. We're like, buy it and please bring it. Well, up. he sent me a picture of a Lafroy 25 year old. Really? And next to it was the Karchus triple. <laughs> and you said, skip the 25. Slide to the left. So actually, he picked up three of them for us. Mm -hmm. um, one, two for you, one for me to back up. Thank you. Uh, my bottle and and Thank Norma, you. I think I want to say seventy. Well, I didn't save it to photos. It'd be in uh, messages. Um, seventy five or eighty dollars. Hmm. Uh, text came in from West Jolly beforehand. He ate right before we went live. He says waiting for the dummies pre gaming. Oh, that's his sense of perfection. Scotch Malt Whiskey Society three point three zero five. And then my mom texted me. What does she need? Mom's been on the show. She was on like, uh, what, the eighth show? Probably yeah, early. Very early. early. Very early. Um, do, do, do. That's a good show, too. Gotta go watch. <laughs> Gregor says, um, do, do, do. I reckon the gang at Wanderback would more than welcome you boys out. Get out here and I'll throw some SD, STD stickers on my car, a la Agva Vitae style. Thank you. Um, it was all over social media. That's like a blood pact right there. He said it. He'd have so to do it. He would. We showed up and have to be STD stickers all over. Yeah. We'd code it. I better take a, let me take a screenshot yeah, of that real quick. Save that. Shift command. Yeah, hold four. them to it. Hold them to it. Right here. Boom. Wait, listen for this. Screenshot. Walked in. <laughs> <laughs> screenshot, Gregor. Woo. Am I over, is it Gregor or Gregor? I'm going. I feel Greg. like I'm over even if he no, I'm even if he corrects, I'm, in Gregor. my mind, he's Gregor. I'm saying it's Gregor. No, it's Gregor. You got a heavy emphasis. <laughs> um, That's now, hitting me now. Now Ben Demon Hunter is talking to Richie Z, but he says you really loved a Black Arts. Which one? We not separate. I mean, you're not asking us, but the four point one. 
is the one that you had bought. You bought the 3.1 originally, then no, the no. 4.1, which we really loved. The 4.1 has yes. been the favorite of ours. 5.1 yes. was good, but quite. I was at a board game convention, actually. Yeah. When somebody let me try the 3.1, I mm -hmm. think. And uh, yeah, that was fun. It's called a guy selling uh, tables called Geek Chic. And they were very expensive tables. And he's got a backlog of five years. And then he goes, wait, aren't you the whiskey guy? The scotch guy? I go, yeah. He goes, come back here behind the counter. And then he pulled out Black Arts 3.1. He actually poured a little tasting into a little paper Dixie cup. And it was still phenomenal. I was like, I got to get some of this. Uh, Julia Photography is tuning in. Julia! Whiskey Warrior. At work per usual, so no whiskey tonight, but I enjoyed the hell out of some Booker's sip a while, or out of some Booker's sip a while last oh. night while checking out Dr. Sleep. I have not seen that. It's kind of the remake of uh, Stephen King's, um, where they're in the, the hotel with the red rum. Shining. Shining. I don't know if it's a remake or some sort of. My boy like literally just to told it. one of his buddies, uh, he did the whole axe thing and saying, it's Johnny. He did that whole thing. I was like, where are you getting that? He goes, Stephen King. I'm like, what? Uh, Aaron Brasher is tuning in. Lagavulin 16 is $120 here. Ridiculous. I'd never buy it. I found a Karchus triple wood for 80 De Well, Okay. Lagavulin 16 at 120 is overpriced. It is. It's all in our area. You can you normally find it 70 to 80 dollars. Great a good buy. price. But up against that Karchus Triple Wood at 80, yeah, I'd Get buy it. that all day long. Get it. The if the Lagavulin 16 was 120 over 80 for that Karchus Triple Wood, go buy Karchus two Karchus. Just don't buy the old Karchuses. Yeah, I mean, there's different ones. I know the Madeira one. Yeah. Uh, just must be, uh, Julia, when she first came in, what are you guys sampling tonight? This is Wanderback Distillery. Wanderback. Out of uh, River Hood, Oregon. I think it is River Hood. Yep. But they're kind of... Uh, like an independent bottler. Like an independent bottler. They're bottler. sourcing whiskeys and bottler. then finishing them. We are on... We've done batch one, batch two, and batch three. Batch three is, is a five-year-old that's finished in Port Cast with Frary Nights. Uh, a lot of scotch characteristics and stuff to it. Batch two was finished in rum casks, and it's a uh, a four-year-old Westland. Sure. Uh, batch three, I'm not sure if there was a finishing shown on it, but it was a, a three-year-old Westland as well. The cocoa on this aftertaste, the finish is phenomenal. If you like chocolate, Hello, one and three. Hold on, right here. I'm gonna give you one, Bart. It's gonna surprise you. You're gonna be like, "What the hell's going on there?" Somebody likes the shirt. Yeah, Trevor McDonald is tuning what? in. What's up, boys? Woo! One. Texas is in the house. <laughs> What's the street sign that he likes? Do you remember? Oh, that's a that's a highway in uh, Texas. Highway. What it's is actually it? the 1587. That's yeah, 1587. Highway yep. 1587. Yep. It's got his own highway. Wow. Mm. Um, the McAllen Attic. Thanks for tuning in. Haven't seen you before. And being addicted to McAllen isn't a bad thing if you got deep pockets. True. Uh, but he's asking D.H. Silva, he says, how much is the DE 2019 there versus the 16? Talking about Lagavulin Distillers Edition 2019. And see, it's been a while. I do, I did have a Lagavulin Distillers Edition here. Maybe it's cost $20 more than the Lagavulin 16 here. Yeah. I mean, if the Lagavulin 16 is 80, I think the Distillers Edition is usually around 100. See, I thought the only one I have is the one that didn't Donger, Whiskey Donger, give me a Distillers Edition? Well, no, 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 no. Separate. Oh, okay. Um, distillery exclusive Okay. compared to Distillers Edition. Got it. Got it. Because his was here. Yep. Yeah. 
uh, he's referencing the Steelers edition, just the kind of the standard edition they do. Um, right. I've got one of those sitting on my shelf too. Do you? I think so. I don't know if you're saying it with a question mark. I may not. I think you know my collection better than I do. You've got your video on your collection. I need to do mine, but mm -hmm. it's basically a non-collection, just a shelf. It's a shelf of open. That's and that's what I said to mine though. It's a shelf of open. I don't have. Right. I mean, I've got a few that aren't Ye open. True, that is true. Your compass box, they're impressive. Oh, There's a new one coming out for the 20th anniversary. It's the Rogues. Um, called Bart and Scott. That's it. No, that's the Rogues edition or the Rogues. Is it red? Barique or something. I forget what it's called. Wow. Let me think. Where would it be at? I know. Just look at I have it. Man, I like this number three. Yeah, I think the three, the well, batch three has been my favorite of the Wanderer backs. Here's something else that's really, and I don't know, maybe it's over, maybe, maybe I'm overstating it. But look at what we got going on here. This is, I know they don't claim to be an independent bottler. They're like in between because they're doing some different things. But look what they're doing. They're grabbing American single malts. So we already know they're in Westland. Sounds like they're going to, well, let's just say they're going to Waco. Then they're going to Virginia. So they're grabbing American single malts and tweaking them, independent bottling them, aging them differently. That is like a, a subset in a subset, and I love it. I mean, look what the play that's going on with American single malts. I want to have the rest of this. Are you good with no, that? I was going I was actually going to pour I was going right, to I'm going to go back to number 3 and pour definitely my favorite. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit left. My favorite too. I'm going to go back to batch 2 just a little bit. Uh Gregor asks, he says pop quiz. You visit Hood River and they find a cask left over that you can take away with you. Is it batch 1, 2 or 3? Three? 3. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cool. I thought you were going to say two. No, three. Three by far is is the best of, of, of these so far. So it's a good sign. Um, very nice. I like what they're doing. Just in case, if you need it, just quit the... thank you. Um, when we were on Juliet Miranda's show, sometimes she's tuning in. DJ11 says it's nice when you have so many bottles you can't remember what you even have. Hell, that's me if I only had 12. <laughs> for the I, I would like to say for the most part, I remember 90, I would put it 98%. Like you said, bullet barrel proof. You thought we had had it. I said, no, we haven't. But yeah. then I'm thinking, well, wait, maybe we have. I'm gonna There's go... a 2% chance that we have had it. <laughs> I'm going to go 10% memory recall. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll, I know we've had Black Arts 4.1, and I know where I tried Black Arts 3.1, and then I forget where I lost interest in Black Arts altogether. Do you remember? After Was it the 5.1? 5.1. And then I was yeah. like... Which you didn't buy. Where did we? Is that the one we uh, bought? Did we get a sample? I think maybe we had a sample. And sadly, yeah. another gentleman took over, and I was like, mm. "Yeah, that's true." Um, Four point one was done by. I, if you can pull his name, that would be impressive. Boy, it is right there. I know you almost got it. I couldn't do that at all. Uh, Brook Lottie Master. Yes, and I don't know. Uh, Eric Waite asks, since you have 400 plus bottles, do you keep a database for your whiskey inventory? When my wine collection is 500, I had a spreadsheet. No, I don't. Um, I mean, I'm at 400 plus, I'm pretty, and we, we're coming up on a thousand reviews or a thousand different bottles, probably. And we've done quick hitters and all those. Right. Like I say, I'm, 
I think 98% I remember stuff that we have. I, don't know I have. I've remembered stuff that you have yeah. that you don't. You, you're right. You're I'm like, what better, are you talking about? Yeah, it's on you're, your shelf. You're right. You're a better source for what I got than I am. So I'm saying. I couldn't believe when I tried to surprise you with the abomination, the peated version, mm -hmm. and you tried it. You literally looked over where it had Got been it. on my shelf. I'm like, God, eh. <laughs> he's looking where I had it on my shelf. He's like, hey, you had it over there and it's not there. I'm like, I moved it. You were like, you lie. <laughs> you lie. And I was like, how did he do that? Sorry. I was, wow. Strong. <laughs> Ferris Shaheen, I tried the Tomatin 12-year bourbon and sherry cask last night for $32, and it was delicious. There you go. I feel it punches a little higher than its price, and I'm okay with that. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, Tomatin 12, we just shot a uh, review, matter of fact, it's Tomatin 15 Moscatel finish. Mm -hmm. and, and what we learned, we were in Scotland last year, we went to Tomatin. What I didn't know or didn't realize was back in the 70s, Tomatin was the biggest distillery yeah. in Scotland. As they were producing quantity. quantity wise. Right. They were, but they were selling so much to blenders. Right. Um, when the oil crisis actually happened in the late seventies, early eighties, Tomatin fell victim to that. Right. Everybody cut back on what they were buying. Everybody they cut back. Couldn't on what, stay in. Yeah. Yeah. They sold off to a Japanese, a Japanese distillery yeah. bottom for like 2 million. Oh my God. Yeah. It's a steal. <laughs> But they just had these warehouses full of whiskey, whiskey, and just aging. And so people want to know, you know, how did Tomatin get all these old whiskeys? They've been aging whiskey. I mean, for a long By time. Default, they had, yeah. they had mass quantities, right? Of it. Tons, tons. But uh, they are doing. Then so, that's, I think, that's why they're able to put, you know, a twelve-year-old out at thirty-two dollars. Mm -hmm. That's why they do, you know, the fourteen-year portwood is reasonable. Their eighteen-year is reasonable. They have just so much stock. Yes. But they are doing good mm -hmm. things at, for the most part, reasonably priced. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Really making a name for themselves in the States. So. Uh, Eric Evanson must have just tuned, started tuning in. How you guys doing? Nice shirt, Bart. Thank Please, you. Eric, don't encourage him. Encourage is colorful. Look at that. It just pops. Emily Chambers must have just started tuning in as well. I haven't seen her comment. Yeah. Yet. Look at this. Taste and sensibility. Taste and sensibility. Reach for it. Another new one. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Little, Little cowbell. cowbell. Taste and sensibility. <laughs> really enjoyed Bart's Aqua Vitae blind oh and the Karchus blind. Oh, my God. Whoo. That was rough. It's funny, Roy told me, you know, I really locked in on just the flavor portion and I couldn't step back from it. That was one thing he noted. So I lined them up per flavor. And even Scott was telling me maybe it would have been better to take a little break and oh. then come back and look at them more independently. You even, because I kind of did it dummy style, like how we do our 16 blinds is how I did Shoot it. Shoot out, it's quick. It's right. quick. It's quick. It's fast. <laughs> And you were like, you know, it might have been worthwhile if you would have just, you know, taken a break, come back and tried one one day and then one well, another yeah. day. Couple that couple hours a good apart. point. Oh, a couple? You're even talking about days. Take your time. That would have been smart, a little bit more of a dissection. But it is what it is. It's in the can. And uh, I still like my Pete's Young. So, but thank you. It was fun. So. God dang. I just realized I didn't hard one thing I should do before lives is I hardwire in. I you do usually do strictly Wi Fi. Hopefully, everything's all right. Looks solid, looks great. You're doing good. <laughs> Hopefully, it's uh, looks that looks phenomenal. Well, are you, you using OBS? No, StreamYards. Wow, StreamYard looking good. So, hmm. all right. Well, we are at the hour mark. So appreciate everybody tuning in. Wander Back Distillery, very nice. Very um, nice. Doing My some nice goodness, things. My goodness, we need to have them on. Yeah. I mean, way, way to go. Thank you for and I'm glad educating we got the, us, Gregor. Well, yeah, and I'm glad we got the chance to try some and look them up because even we didn't know that much about them. And 
Like, well, let's look them up and see what's going on. Yeah. And, oh, single malt. Oh, indep- kind of independent. Oh, yeah. Sourcing. Yeah. Finishing. Dialing in on that American single malt, baby. I love it. They're trying to make it a category. Legal. Now, see, I went back to batch two. That's very nice, man. I That's like nice. batch two. In the I should have said that, we uh, three, but... that we were with Wander back and we we're going to be testing it. I didn't do that. Well, you started to. Just kidding. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I faked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, thanks everybody that tuned in. We appreciate it. Thanks for the super right. chats. And scotch it, you scotch gods. Solange. Dumbass. Dumbass. It's really good. Search it out. It's worth a good find. It's worth a good find.